Hello, my name is David Rota. Hello, my name is David Rota. I'm the chef at the Hotel Oxen and Saig in the Black Forest, and today I'm going to show you how I test the quality of my cooking oil using the new Testo 270. The Testo 270 measures the so-called polar components of the oil. But first, I take the food out of the deep fryer. Because if there's food in the oil, there's water too, and that increases the polar components of the oil, which leads to false measurements. This is my Testo 270. I switch it on. The cooking oil tester is in auto hold mode. That makes the measurement easier. We are ready to go. When there are no more bubbles rising, I know that there is no water left in the oil, and I can start. For the measurement, it's important that the plastic parts of the Testo 270 don't come into contact with the oil, and that I maintain a minimum distance of one centimeter to metal parts. The right immersion depth is also important. This should ideally be between the minimum and maximum marks on the probe. In order to shorten the measurement time, I move the sensor in small circles in the oil. In the auto hold mode, the display with the readings starts to flash. As soon as the measurement value is stable, the display freezes. That's it. Careful, the probe is very hot. Please don't touch it. The measurement results appear in the display. The smaller value shows the temperature of the cooking oil. The larger value, and the more important one, is the TPM value. This gives the polar components in the oil, which are a sure indicator for the quality of the cooking oil. This percentage is interpreted by the backlighting of the display in traffic light colors. In our case, the display is green. Our TPM value is 14%, so everything's okay. I could now carry on with more measurements without any problems. I just need to clean the Testo 270 with a soft paper towel. However, since I've finished, I'll first note the measurement values and then clean the measuring instrument thoroughly under running water. Because the Testo 270 is splash-proof, it's no problem to hold it under running water. To clean it, it's enough to clean the sensor under running water with a mild detergent. It's important not to use any aggressive cleaning products or abrasive sponges. And then simply dry it off carefully with a soft paper towel. Done. As you can see, with the Testo 270, I can very quickly determine the quality of my cooking oil. I adhere to the TPM limit values, ensure the quality of my oil and the deep-fried foods, and on top of that, I can reduce my expenses for cooking oil by up to 20%. In order to configure the Testo 270, I switch it on, and immediately press the hold button for two seconds in order to access the configuration menu. In the first menu item, I can define my TPM limit values. With the arrow buttons, I change the lower limit value and confirm with the hold button. Then comes the upper limit value, which I also set using the arrow buttons. To save the adjustments, I confirm with the hold button as before. Only then are the settings for both TPM limit values accepted. I exit the configuration menu with the on-off button, and the cooking oil tester is ready for measurement again. In order to carry out the calibration, the reference oil must be warmed to approximately 50 degrees Celsius. To do this, I immerse the reference oil bottle in a water bath for about 10 minutes. For the calibration, the sensor must be completely clean. I switch on the tester and call up the menu. To do this, I press the hold button for about two seconds immediately after switching on. Using the hold button, I navigate through the menu to calibration. With the arrow buttons, I select yes and confirm with the hold button. 
Now the reference oil is warmed. I take it out of the water bath. To distribute the warmth more evenly, I briefly shake the bottle. Be careful, the oil may not come into contact with the water. I now immerse the sensor into the reference oil. You should not touch the oil bottle with your hands, as this would negatively influence the accuracy of the calibration. The display now lights up in orange. I start the calibration and adjustment procedure by pressing the hold button. In order to record the measurement value more quickly, I move the sensor in small circles in the oil. The display now lights up in red. The TPM value, as well as the temperature value, are shown in the display. As soon as the display lights up in green, the measurement is ended and the TPM value, as well as the temperature value, are frozen. I now compare the measurement value with the target value. This is stated on the reference bottle label. My tester's deviation is considerably less than 1%, so I don't carry out any adjustment. If the deviation were more than 1%, the instrument would need adjusting. In order to adjust the measurement value to the reference value, I would use the arrow buttons and then confirm the value with the hold button. I now exit the configuration menu with the on-off button. The cooking oil tester is ready to measure again.